Hi, it's time to find out how much, or little, better a stacked 6x4 inches magnet is than a single 6x2. How well does it compare to my other large magnets? Will it disappoint to a degree where I might as well try to separate them again? I also had you guessing in the comments at what distance it will invert a compass. In this video we'll find out. One of you was very close. Big neodymium magnets will hurt you if mishandled. Do not handle unless you are aware of and accept all risks involved. Alright, let's jump right into it. The first test is the saw bend. One of my reasons for combining the magnets was to get a magnet with a farther reaching magnetic field. This test will show if that's what I got. Here are the results from a previous video with my other magnets. The single 6x2 managed to bend the saw 5cm away from its resting position at a distance of 20.1cm. Will the double magnet do any better? The saw is already touching the mark at this distance. 24 centimeters. Not a massive improvement, but simply a new record. I haven't seen a magnet do this well before. A promising start for the duo monster. The paperclip pull test is not a distance test. Instead, it shows how much pull force the magnet has on a small object directly on the surface. Here are the results to beat. The single 6x2 had a max pull force of 373 grams. Let's try with the 6x4. First pull was a respectable 390 grams, but only the second best ever. Let's give it another try. Looks like it just passed 400 grams, making it a new record. Not for long though, here's the best pull. It shocked me. 410 grams pull force on a 410 milligrams paperclip, a thousand to one conversion rate. This magnet is setting some new standards in the tests. Very impressive. Next up is the inverse compass test, where a lot of you played along and guessed at the distance. Your guesses ranged from 30 centimeters to 40 meters. I believe not all of you have seen my earlier tests before guessing, but that's okay. A lot of new viewers found my channel through my previous video, and I'm glad so many of you played along with a guess. Welcome aboard to all new subscribers. If we zoom in on the range where most of your guesses are, it is interesting that most of you believe the max distance will be between 220 and 230 centimeters. That would be yet another record. Here's the setup, without magnets near the compass. The compass is pointing towards north and to pass the test, the magnet will have to inverse the compass. It's an easy pass at 100 cm and at 150 cm. At 200 cm the inversion is less solid but still a clear pass. Time to go for a new record at 220 cm. Yes! It's a pass and a new record. Let's jump to 230 centimeters. No, it is trying, but the Earth's magnetic field has the upper hand here. This is getting exciting. Most of you guessed between 220 and 230, and that's exactly where we'll find the right answer. I've got the best viewer base on YouTube, no doubt about it. Let's find the winner. Splitting the difference at 225.
it's a fail. At 2.24 it looks almost like a tie between the fields, but at 2.23 it's a pass. The final attempt at 223.5 cm is a pass too, so we have a winner. Congratulations Prana Olimai, good job, you nailed it. I also have to mention Samuel Lee and Tim Bargen who calculated the distance based on the known results and got very close. Good job to you two too. Thanks to all who participated, this wasn't an easy task. The Earth's magnetic field isn't equally strong all over the world and I didn't clarify whether it was from the center or the edge of the magnet. From the edge instead of the center, the right answer would be 216 centimeters. so with this in mind, STA and Chris Osborne had good guesses too. Alright, moving on to the last test. Before assembling the magnets, I tested all four poles with a gauss meter. I measured the centers and at four points on the edges. To be clear, these aren't the max values at the edges, but at points that are easy to repeat, since even a tiny deviation at the edges can mean a big difference in measured values. With the single magnets, the values are around 3.2 kg at the center and 6 kg near the edges. The max reading was 11 kg. Here are the readings for the combined 6x4. Here's an example of how difficult it is to get consistent results. I place the probe like all other times and get 7.5 kg, which is way more than at the other points. I try again at what feels like exactly the same point and get 7 kg, which is more consistent with the other readings. So don't put too much precision into these measurements. However, there's clearly an overall increase, but they didn't double. After all, the magnets are still of the same grade, in 45, but the close to 50% increase at the center is noticeable and gives this magnet better results at a distance. The single magnets measured max 614 gauss at 10 cm distance, while the 6x4 measures max 875 gauss. I'm impressed. And here are the max values at the right angle on the magnetic field curving at the edges. Twelve kilogauss or one point two Tesla. New record for my Gauss meter. I think it's time for a conclusion. The conclusion is as clear as it can be. This stacked magnet is the strongest I own. It has set new records in all my tests, meaning I will not separate them anytime soon. I will use it for more experiments before I may attempt to take them apart in a future video. Like in my next video where I'll dig deeper into the experiment I used in Exotic Elements vs Magnet Part 5. I adjusted for the tiny differences in weight of the samples, but maybe I shouldn't have done that, as some of you pointed out. So in the next video I will test which sample is attracted the fastest to the magnet. A 1 gram sample of osmium, a 2 gram sample of osmium, or the two at the same time as a 3 gram sample. Maybe there will be no noticeable difference, meaning I shouldn't have adjusted for weight in my experiment. I have made a poll where you can guess along on the results. Click the white circle with the letter I in the top right corner of the video and feel free to elaborate on your guess in the comments. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Click like if you didn't dislike the video and I'll see you for the osmium test. Bye for now.